Yep, that smell is you. Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome back to The Sims 4 Supernatural Secrets. The girls are hanging out in their creepy basement, away from the prying eyes of Nora, who's not actually home. She never is. Where does she go? Who knows? I'm pretty convinced she works for the FBI. So that's why we have to keep our witchy shenanigans and our vampire hijinks in the secret basement room. Now obviously Ava is in vampire form right now, so let's change her back to look like a regular person. Why is she so grumpy? Strange thirst. Oh yeah, now that she's a vampire, she can't eat food anymore. She has to drink blood. That should probably be our number one priority. So since it's nighttime right now, she can safely go outside. Oh no, she's gonna fly. Is there anybody around? Ah, that was so close. Nora so almost saw that. Hey, nothing to see here, nothing weird. I don't think she's onto us. Now to initiate Ava into the vampire club, I really want to make her drink somebody's blood. And there are plenty of victims out tonight. So who shall we pick? Oh my gosh, so many guys with juicy necks ready for biting. This guy looks perfect. We found a jock. Let's go and talk to him. Yo, what's up? I'm gonna lure him into a false sense of security. A little joke about monkeys, a little light flirting. Whoa, what the heck? Who is that? Okay, suddenly a witch and a vampire aren't the craziest things in this neighborhood anymore. Oh no, my victim, he's gone. He got away! I'll get you, Mark Levens! Someday, your muscular neck will be mine! Um, there's another one of those people just walking around. I can't even talk to them. Are they aliens? Am I hallucinating? What is this? What is going on? Is anybody else seeing this? Okay, we got a little distracted from the mission and all of the potential victims got away. Am I gonna have to feed from a pigeon next? Uh-oh. I see you there, young man, running off into the woods alone. I'm coming for you. Whoa, that was quite an entrance. Hi. Let's have a little chat, Brant. Nothing scary about me. What is he drinking? Where did he get a cocktail from? In the middle of the woods. I like this human, he is strange. It almost makes me feel bad about what I'm about to do. Oh wait, come here! Aha! Excuse me. <gasps> She's so adorable! Just let it happen, Brant. Her first feed. Delicious. Okay, I think that's enough, Ava. Lovely. Okay, now Brant, go be on your way. Oh no! Is that supposed to happen? Did I kill him? <gasps> Brant, wake up, get up. This looks really bad. Okay, we should probably get out of here before somebody questions things. So maybe feeding from humans is not the smartest thing to do. Let's try and find one of those plasma fruits so that we have an endless supply without having to murder anybody. <gasps> Wait, what is that? Is this the tree that we are looking for? Harvest plasma fruit. Yes. And now can we plant this? <gasps> okay, we can. Let's plant one in the back garden. This is definitely gonna look weird, me just doing some gardening at 4 a.m. But I gotta plant some trees. Okay, we got our beautiful plasma trees planted up. Let's make sure we take care of them, otherwise Ava will die. Oh, hello Nora, have you come to admire my plants? Oh, right. She's come to talk to them, because that's what she does. Cool! <gasps> He's back. <gasps> That was so awkward. We made eye contact for a second. Oh wait, it's getting light outside. We need to go back inside. Ava will literally burn to a crisp in the sun. So we have to go back inside. Now, do vampires need to sleep? And recover vampire energy by sleeping or using dark meditation. Okay, let's do the normal one and just sleep. And now it's time for Maddie to wake up and do some witchy things. So I'm gonna send her out into the world, this time to visit one of the neighbors. This house over here is super cool and to be honest, I just wanna see inside. So let's see if they are home. Yoo-hoo. <gasps> They're in. 
And so are we. Oh my gosh. Wow, it is a lot whiter in here than I thought it would be. This is so elegant. Except for the cobwebs here. Clearly they never cook. Good morning, Caleb. Thank you for inviting me into your lovely home. <gasps> they have a cat. I'm going to steal that cat. That cat will belong to me. Ignore the humans, befriend the cat. Could you guys leave, please? I'm trying to get some quality time in with the cat. I know how to get rid of them. Go to sleep, Caleb. And you, Lilith. Ha! Perfect, now I can be alone with the cat. Wait, where'd it go? Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Every witch needs a black cat. Oh, she's called Amy. She's so pretty. And she will be mine. Two hours later. Okay, I've officially spent all day trying to befriend a cat. No, oh, oh no. They woke up. Leave me alone. If I must, I will cast another spell on you. I am going to drain her hygiene. Watch out, lady. Get out of here. <gasps> oh no, what the heck? What's going on? She's trying to take the cat back and I'm on fire. This isn't right. Something went wrong. Um. What's going on? Oh no, she's on fire. I don't think this is meant to happen. This is not how I imagined this spell would turn out. Oh, yep, that smell is you. You stinky girl. Now, please let me have your cat. Oh, Amy. <laughs> Come to me. Bernard. Oh, now I'm gonna take you home with me. I'm gonna steal you. Ah, yes, my plan is working perfectly. I take the cat while she showers. Out the door I go. This is a very peculiar method of carrying a cat, but seemingly very effective for catnapping. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, we made it all the way to the front of the house. Don't you want to come and live with me here? Come on, Amy. You're mine now. Okay. Success, I have stolen the cat. Warning, do not do this in real life. Now, come on inside. Yoo-hoo, I got a cat. Wow, Ava has already figured out a unique way to communicate with the cat. That's great. Now, since it's nighttime again, we can actually have Ava go outside and try and level up her vampireness again. She's almost a minor vampire. She just needs to do a couple more vampire things. So I'm going to ask if I can borrow some of her blood. Andrea, let me drink from you. <gasps> yes, I did it. I have ascended into a minor vampire. We get to pick some new things. We have to pick a weakness. Okay, we can have thin skinned. Makes the sun more harmful than normal. With its stomach, Ava vomits when eating human food. Guilty drinker, become guilty when drinking from Sims without permission. Or uncontrollable hissing. Ava will occasionally disgust others by hissing uncontrollably. Oh my gosh, I have to go for that weakness. But we also get three new power points to spend. Let's go for eternally well Welcome. Gain the power to lock and unlock doors at other Sims homes. Okay. Wait, we can do vampire training? Find a friendly vampire who can train Ava. How about old Vladdy? Let's go pay him a visit. Yoo-hoo! I can just enter as a vampire. I don't even need to knock on doors anymore. Cool! Oh, I think that was kind of rude though. Whoops. Sorry! Oh, Vlad! Vladdy! Oh no, what if he's not home? Wait, he has a basement? Oh my gosh. He's down here in the basement. How did I not see this before? This is so creepy. He has multiple coffins down here. Who does the coffin belong to? It's blank. <gasps> can I engrave it? Ava was here. Oh my gosh, I can claim this. This is my coffin. Now I'm too scared to get in it because it's kind of creepy. Maybe we need a little bit of vampire training first. Perfect, we can request vampire training. And I think he's a super powerful vampire, so this should be very helpful. Two hours later. Okay, I think we're done here. Oh no, it's bright outside. We're trapped. Um, Vlad, are you okay? He appears to be a little bit on fire. That doesn't look healthy. We can't risk leaving. Oh, he's going for a sleep in his coffin. Maybe I should get into my coffin. Yeah, I'll just have a little 
sleep in my cute pajamas. Ugh, creepy. The next day. Oh, he's awake now. So what does Vlad do all day if he can't go outside in the sun? Ah, yes, of course, he plays the organ. Let's get the heck out of here while he's distracted. Go quickly, Ava. Use that umbrella. Okay, so that is where I'm going to leave it for this episode. Oh my gosh! What's wrong with the cat? I think the cat's turning into a zombie. So that is where I'm going to leave it for this episode of Sims 4 Supernatural Secrets. But I'll see you next episode where we take this stink bag to the vet.